How can you explain multiplication patterns for even and odd numbers? Think about this question during the lesson. Nita says that the product of an even number and an odd number is always even. Is she correct? Even numbers are whole numbers that can be divided by 2 with none left over. Odd numbers are whole numbers that cannot be divided by 2 with none left over. What do you notice about the digits in the numbers from row to row? How can this help you understand even and odd numbers? From row to row, the ones digits stay the same, but the tens digits increase by one. It is a pattern, so you know that all numbers with two, four, six, eight, or zero in the ones place are even, and all other numbers are odd. Even numbers have zero, two, four, six, or eight in the ones place. Even numbers greater than zero can be shown as two equal groups. Think about two times three and two times five. Two is an even number. Two times three means two equal groups of three. Two times five means two equal groups of five. There are always two equal groups. So the product of two times any number is even. You can generalize. All even numbers are multiples of 2. Think about 4 times 3. You can think of 4 as two groups of 2. Using properties, which is another way to write 4 times 3 equals 2 times 2 times 3? Select your answer. Using properties, you can write 4 times 3 equals 2 times 2 times 3 as 4 times 3 equals 2 times 2 times 3. So, 4 times 3 equals 2 times 6. There are two equal groups of 6, so the product will be even. You can write any even number as two equal groups. So, Nita is correct. Even times odd equals even. Now you know how you can explain multiplication patterns for even and odd numbers.